Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are on the day of Ultimate Scream in FIFA 20. If you guys have not seen it, there is a loading screen that came out today on FIFA um, promoting and teasing the promo that is coming on Friday today, which is Ultimate Scream. I'm trying to back out and go back into FIFA. There it is, Ultimate Scream. Starts in 14 hours when I'm recording this. See some bats in the background, you know, a little bit of green, ultimate, scary stuff, Halloween coming up. Um, just a little bit ago, actually over here on Twitter, the pack design has been put into the pack code and it was released. Uh, as you can see, there's, again, there's some bats in the background, some green slime, and, you know, it looks like orange, black, a little bit of red and green are the main colors for this promo as, uh, as per. It's usually this way uh, around the Halloween time. Since the pack design and the card design are usually pretty similar, I would expect to see the green slime and like this kind of background with the bats and with uh, whatever's going on here, maybe with like a ghost type, you know, vibe to it. Uh, I would assume we would see that on the card design as well in foot when these cards come out tomorrow. So look out for that. We don't have a legit card design that has been shown to us yet, um, but it is out there and it should be coming. Uh, so tomorrow we're going to see probably how they've run screen before they can always do it different i would assume they do something different this year and years past um but i want to kind of talk with you guys about how to get ready for it what to prepare for and what you need to know uh with this first promo of fifa 20 this is like our first real promo yes we had um once to watch which was a kind of a promo but again that's kind of just like uh how i talked about in one of my prior videos that that's just kind of like uh something that's it's at the start of the game when everybody's actually just trying to start their ultimate team. And um, it's really hard to start a promo when you're starting out your ultimate team. You're not worried about the cards and packs that much. You're worried about starting your team up and uh, and improving your team. So the screen promo this weekend, I think there's a couple things that you guys need to watch out for before the promo comes out, um, after the promo is out right away, and just some market movements I think we need to watch for. And um, yeah, I want to kind of help you guys prepare for that, so last year during Scream, we got like legit promo packs in the store. It wasn't a lightning round, so I don't expect any lightning rounds this year. Um, they usually don't like to do those early on, just because the way that it would affect the market. But they do release promo packs in the store, kind of like these. Um, but you're going to see better packs during this promo because there will be a set of players in packs. If everything is like last year and years prior, uh, you might have like 10 or 12. 25Ks, 35Ks, you'll see the 45K packs make an appearance. And last year, actually, they did do a, um, a pack set of the 50K packs. So there is a lot of packs that are open during this promo, but it doesn't really affect the market that much in years past. And I don't think it's going to affect the market that much this year either because the market's already pretty low. If we look at our favorite graph over here on Footbin, the Index 100, if you look on the daily graph, we've literally just been dropping at, from a market standpoint as a whole since the game has come out because a lot of those lower rated players have gone down in price. Yes, a lot of the higher rateds have gone up as people have gotten coins and have upgraded their teams, but you see the market as a whole go down, whereas a lot of stuff in prior years has only gone up. So I don't see a huge market crash from this. The only place where I would think you could see the market be uh, affected would maybe be a short time span with those high rated cards. Maybe the team of the week that is in packs this week, a guy like Wijnaldum, is going to have some extra supply after this weekend. I don't think it would really affect him that much um, considering we're not really getting lightning rounds either. So there will still be a lot of people that open packs for this promo, but uh, you're really going to see a dip down in price on the lower rated stuff that is going to get packed a ton that people have now upgraded past. Um, you know, a guy like Ben Yedder, what is he, like 20... It's like 20 something K, right? 25 K. Yeah. Ben Yedder's like 23, 24 K actually. So he just keeps dropping and dropping because people already have this card in their team. Maybe they're upgrading to the ones to watch and they're just graduating past a guy like Ben Yedder in this game, even though he's so good. The demand for that card is just not there anymore. People are moving on. And I looked at a, an example on yesterday's video, Gabriel Jesus from last year, who's a very popular striker, very popular again this year. But I think you're going to see him drop again this week. What is he, 27K, 26K? What is, what is Gabriel Jesus? 27,000 coins. This card could easily be uh, 15 to 17K 
come Sunday night after this promo is in full swing. A couple days of packs, weekend league sell off. That card could drop like 10,000 coins as an 80, was he 82? 82 rated card. So that's the biggest market movements I think you're going to see um, for this promo. One way that you guys can get your clubs ready for this promo, and uh, we haven't had to do a lot of this this year, but I would assume that we will get some SBCs that will be requiring uh, maybe if we do like a screen card SBC, which they last year they, they put out the Saul and the, um, no, they put out the Koke and the Schweinsteiger SBCs were Scream SBCs that you could go do. I assume they will have SBCs this year for cards and objectives uh, for whatever kind of card and upgrade and stat messing around they're going to do with this. So um, I would definitely say do a club stock with some of the 82s, some of the 83s, even 84s or 85s. I don't expect any of these SBCs to be uh, super duper high value. I mean, a lot of the cards that we got last year for Scream and historically Scream SBCs since it's early on in the game, they haven't really been that expensive. So just get a nice club stock of the 83s, with good leagues, good nations, you know, some of the 82s as well. Just your, your casual SBC players. It looks like some of them are actually up right now. 84 is at 2.5K. Some of them were actually lower than that. So it looks like some people have stocked up. But uh, 83s under 1.5K, you really just can't go wrong. Not saying that they would go up a ton if an SBC came out. But uh, just a club stock to get ready. Just in case they do drop an SBC and it's super duper popular, you get packs back and a player. Everybody goes and does it. You know, 83s might go up to like 3K for a couple hours or so. Do the SBC with your cheap cards and then take the coins on the rest. Stuff like that could be a very good look. A couple discard informs as well. I'm sure you guys um, that have a decent amount of coins have invested in some discard informs. Um, 84 rated right there, Strakoshka. I think I got him for like 12K. You see I got some 83s in the club, some 82s. I have done a little bit of a club stock myself. Um, Thurum's not really discard, but I have in my team. Where are my discard informs at? Yo, do I not have any discard informs? All right, we're going to have to go change that. I really don't think that I have a discard inform. So uh, I'm going to have to go change that right now. But that's going to be a decent place to look as well. I don't know if they've ever done like a repeatable Scream SBC uh, but if they would ever do one, I mean, that is a possibility that it could come. and uh, Or just an SBC that requires an inform would be would be a decent shout just to pick up one, chuck it in your club, like this Duffy right here. I'm going to chuck that in my club. GG's. Thank you, EA. And, uh, yeah, so we're good to go if an SBC comes out. I like that. I like that a lot. And then, of course, the panic before the promotion be on the watch for any sort or any type of panic that could come before 6 p.m. when the promotion would drop tomorrow. Now, the one thing that would stop that panic or maybe even help the panic even more, we'd have to kind of diagnose this and watch the market as this would happen. But let's say EA drops the team early. Let's say they drop the team three hours early at uh, 3 p.m. UK, kind of like they do with Team of the Week and kind of like they did with the Ones to Watch promo. They they dropped the ones to watch cards early before the actual promo came out, so we know who was we knew who was coming, uh, which was which was very interesting. Uh, I don't think a lot of people were ready for that, so we knew about some of these guys that were going to be in the ones to watch, um, and maybe they do the same thing with the screen promo as well. But leading up to the screen promo, you're probably going to see some sort of panic on the market uh, in the morning on Friday. I would assume that you see some areas of the the market are down just because people are getting their coins ready to see what happens. I mean, people know that the, this isn't like a huge pack opening promo where a lot of cards are going to be uh, packed. I think that's the main uh, reason why people panic on promo Fridays is because they see, oh, hey, we're going to have a promo. That means people are going to open packs. That means my cards are going to go down. I should sell my team. And a lot of people do that, and the market just nosedives, and it's a good time to pick up on some deals. I don't think you're going to see a lot of that this week. If you do, it might be a good chance to take advantage of it, especially if it's a card that is out of packs. Now tomorrow, where I want you guys to look for panic on the market is gonna be in these out of packs team of the week cards. Especially if uh, they're from popular nations, popular leagues, because chances are they're gonna to link to somebody in the screen team that other people are gonna to wanna to use. Uh, so I'm wearing a Spurs kit right now. I have a hunch that they might throw a Spurs player in this scary ultimate screen promo because the Spurs are playing uh, scary bad 
So I would <laughs> assume that you might see a Spurs player in this promo. I didn't really mean that, but hey, it, it could happen. They like to add, I mean, if you look at the promos from years past, let's go look at the uh, FIFA 19 scream list. Even though the players weren't that good of players, like the quality wasn't that amazing, uh, you still had players from popular leagues, popular nations, um, Spanish, Diego Costa, Balotelli, um, Mandzukic was on Juventus, we have a Liverpool player, we have a PSG, we have a Barcelona, uh, Manchester United, Bayern, I would expect Chelsea, I would expect a lot of major teams to be involved in the promo this year as well. This Scream team last year was just very bleh, like it was really just really bad, so I would expect this year to be better, and um, hopefully they do something interesting with the cards as well, but that could be uh, a place where you look for panic in the morning tomorrow is on the market with some with some informs possibly. Um, maybe they do put a Spurs guy in. Maybe they put like La Celso. Uh, I don't know why he would be scary, but um, maybe they just put a La Celso in and you're like, oh, maybe this would make Ariel's price go up because La Celso has a good card. He gets a boost. You know what I mean? There's possibilities like that all around the market. So I would look at out of packs, informs, popular ones like in Diddy, like Havertz, like Mares, um, maybe even a guy like Tagliafico or Delaney, or if you're on a high budget, Mertens, DeYoung, watch some of those cards just to see if they get panic sold um, because that would just be people getting their coins before uh, some sort of promo, um, which would uh, kind of be disgraceful, I guess. But if you see panic, take advantage of the panic. And then other than that, tomorrow when the screen promo comes out, I talked about link investments already. If there is a Barcelona player that comes out, maybe you or maybe if there's a PSV player that comes out, another they're they're really on the air divisi hype train with the Malin inform, the Promes wants to watch, and the Bergwin inform. Maybe they throw another uh, air, maybe like a Van de Beek, maybe Van de Beek makes it in, making it a lot easier to put some of these guys in your teams. Maybe you go out and grab some Bergwins. He's down at 23k right now. I don't know if that's an undercut, but that's kind of low. It isn't really undercut. Wow, he's just dropped out of uh, over investing, dropped out of off of a cliff, honestly. So maybe a card like that could be resurrected tomorrow. Once you see the team, there could be some possible link investments to some of those cards. But tomorrow, it's probably just going to be a lot of understanding what cards they put out. We're going to have to really feel it and see like, okay, what are these cards going to be like? Are these cards going to be changing their stats? Are they boosted in some way already? Are they hype players? Are they going to be good in game? Stuff like that, we're really going to have to diagnose tomorrow and figure out if link investments are actually going to work and if people are actually going to use these new screen cards in FIFA Ultimate Team because hype is the biggest thing that makes the market move on this game. That's how we make money, you know? When players are hype, um, cards are hype that people want to try out, that's how we make money on this game because people want to put those cards in their squads and when they do, they want to buy them and we make money off of those cards going up and link investments to those cards because chemistry is huge in FIFA. So watch that kind of stuff. Watch the panic. Watch and see if we have any sell-off. And then, of course, check for SBCs. Make sure you got your club stacked. I don't think it's worth really going out and panic selling anything. You shouldn't see any movement in the icon market. If you want to be uh, taking an opportunity to snipe tomorrow, icons might be a decent place to snipe or informs um, from this current team of the week, as we will have packs coming out, especially if we have a uh, cheap SBC like a supply pack. Um, I actually traded one of my first icons today um, and made like 30k on it, which was very, very nice. It was nice to get an icon sale, an icon flip. Um, but icons could be a great place to look tomorrow, searching the 59th minute for listings. Uh, I would use the basic chem style for those cards that are just packed. And you can get to that 59th minute quicker and possibly pick up on a fresh card that somebody packed from opening packs from the promo and get a deal on an icon or an undercut to flip. I love icon flipping during promos. Uh, it's a great time to do that. But then, of course, I mentioned the Team of the Week as well. You could get on some Team of the Week investments. Actually, this is a kind of an undercut right here. Is this going to get bought? It's uh, not fresh, but it's not bought yet. I bet you that does get bought. Interesting. Nice. A little undercut, though. So watch the market tomorrow. Stock your clubs. Be ready for SBCs. Be ready for objectives. If you're somebody who likes to invest in some of the really little SBC requirements, maybe for like... Uh, if they do like a, a scary team, uh, like the Day of the Dead SBC last year or, or one of those, uh, I'm sure you've already done your research. I don't really invest in that stuff, so I'm not the, the best one to look at for some of that stuff. 
but it is a possibility. And maybe they just go with teams with like green badges. Like I've got the Austin FC badge, a new MLS team. Maybe they have an SBC that requires, well, never mind because there's no Austin FC players in the game. But maybe like somebody has a green badge or green in color in their badge gets in because of the way that this pack design, the ultimate scream design looks. Um, and then hopefully we do get the um, pack or the car design pretty soon as well. So again, tomorrow the rundown is stock your club. Just be ready to see what comes out. Don't panic sell, okay? You don't have to worry about losing a ton of coins on cards. The only reason that would make a lot of cards drop is if they put out a cheap SBC um, and they put out like lightning rounds, which I don't expect that at all this early in the game. So we're just going to have to sit back and watch what happens tomorrow. Just be ready, all right? Just be ready. Um, don't worry about being super duper liquid. I have uh, a lot of my coins liquid, but that's because I've got a weekend league team and I like to keep a lot of coins liquid for trading because that's what I like to do in this game. So again, this is basically just a video kind of telling you guys how to get ready for tomorrow. Um, I don't think it's going to be too crazy. It all depends on the cards that they put in packs. If it's just as bad as last year, probably not going to be that fantastic of a promo. Hopefully they step it up though and give us some dope cards and uh, make it a fun weekend, you know? Objectives, you know, we were, we'll be playing weekend league, but hopefully they give us some fun objectives and stuff to do on the game um, as people have already finished grinding for icons, which is crazy, but people have already finished some of those. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it. Ask any questions down below. If you have any pre-promo questions on what to do, if you think you should invest in a card or high rated investment, whatever you're talking, whatever you're thinking, ask that question down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.